The world of Little Witch Academia is full of... witchy stuff. Since this story has a lot to offer, I'm going to be giving my thoughts from episode to episode. Since there's so much going on, I don't really want to miss anything. In the first episode, we are introduced to Shiny Chariot, a renowned witch that entertains audiences with magic. And our protagonist, Otsuko Kagari, or as she prefers, Akko. When watching the show with Shiny Chariot, pay very close attention to the whole thing because this show appears to not really pick up until season two, but you would be mistaken. And I didn't catch a lot of things until my second viewing of this episode. The first episode is, well, all I can say is poor Akko. I have yet to see anyone get picked on so badly in the first episode. Susie, the first person that she meets, is, well, Akko really doesn't know how to socialize. She never really shuts up, and that's kind of a theme in this show. Of course, we learn one of the other overarching themes. Luna Nova is letting people in that aren't in a witch family. Well, people, I, I mean Akko. And of course, not being able to use the ley line to fly on a broom to get to the opening ceremony, Akko's kind of stuck wondering what it would have been like if she could have attended Luna Nova. This is where we meet our second supporting cast in Lote, as she finds sympathy for our poor defeated Akko and gives her a ride. The ride takes a turn for the worse, and they end up in the forbidden, legendary forest, Arcturus. Guess what happens there? I'll give you a minute. If you guessed giant evil chickens and man-eating plants, your head is in the right place for this show. After the most fun I've watched food getting revenge on people, we're introduced to our third supporting cast in Professor Ursula as a mysterious power reveals itself in the forest. After the most fun I've watched food getting revenge on people, we're introduced to our third supporting cast in Professor Ursula as a mysterious power reveals itself in the forest. Enter the Shiny Rod. Out of all of the MacGuffins in anime, this is one of my favorite because the MacGuffin-y goodness it pulls off in the series makes sense the more episodes you watch and actually watch its macguffin -y work. After reciting some magic words, the girls find themselves in the middle of the opening ceremony, the same opening ceremony that if they were late to, they wouldn't be able to attend Luna Nova. Of course, the faculty almost didn't let the girls in because of their disruption. Under the watch of Professor Ursula, however, the girls are able to attend Luna Nova, but Professor Ursula now is specifically responsible for those three, but more so responsible for Akko. So my thoughts on this episode, when I first saw it, I instantly wanted more. The episode was funny and exciting, and I had more than a few good laughs. So talking about the animation, for the most part, and I mean overarching through the series, the animation's pretty solid. There are some cases of hit and miss, however. And some of my favorite things about the animation, the muted colors. They give me this feeling of kind of like 80s or 90s retro anime, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing the review on this anime in the first place. However, it also gives me the feeling of fall, which, you know, is kind of witchy with Halloween and all, which is, I don't know if you guys know this, autumn and fall and Halloween, these are my favorite times of year. Overall, this anime, as far as the genre of Magical Girl is concerned, 
honestly is one of my favorites. Um, it's really hard to do a review on this as an overarching theme just because this has so many little nuances uh, through every episode there are different there there's just so much going on we have uh, pop culture references we have other anime references there is just so much going on that doing a whole overarching theme like I'm doing currently with Brotherhood wouldn't do it justice. I can't do, you know, the first five episodes of this anime and actually explain it well. So I'm really hoping that if you guys enjoy this review, maybe I can do some more episodic reviews in the future. Of course, the audience has a say. If you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you can tell me what animes, what movie reviews and gaming let's plays you guys want to see. If you want to, links are going to be down in the description. Usually I have my end card with all of the links that you can go to. Unfortunately, I don't know how to link them in Facebook, but I'll start putting them in the descriptions for you guys. Anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and we will see you in the next thing that Brain Candy has going on. Peace out!